Good morning, Walden Church. I hope you had a great Easter weekend. I know we just had so much fun putting it all together for you. And if you missed anything, of course, you can always go back and find some of those files. You know, they're still on YouTube. You can always go to waldenchurch.com and go to uh, the sermon section and all the sermons are there as MP3 and you can listen to them. Uh, and you can always revisit our Facebook page. There's a lot of links there, a lot of graphics there. But uh, it's Monday, it's Monday, start of a brand new week, and hopefully we're all turning the corner as a nation, and uh, we're looking forward to getting back to work, getting back to seeing each other again. But it's Monday, and we do a devotional here every single Monday for you, because we used to have a, a prayer time on Monday, and we want to start our week off with a little scripture and a little prayer. So I have a passage today, and it's from John, and it's chapter 14, verse 21. It says, the one who has my commands and keeps them is the one who loves me. And the one who loves me will be loved by my father. I will also love him and will reveal myself to him. If I were to ask you, do you love God? You would probably say, yes, right? I love God. And if I were to say, do you obey God? And you might go, oh, I don't know. I mean, I, yeah, sure, for the most part, or, you know, sometimes, or most of the time, or I try. But you know, the thing is, what the scriptures say, is those two questions are exactly the same. That if you love God, then you also obey God. I mean, just think about uh, if it were your spouse, you know? What would, what, would it, what would that mean if you were saying these same things about your spouse? To say, yes, I love you. You know, sometimes, right? I mean, sometimes, you know, sometimes when I'm thinking about it, when I remember, so, you know, sometimes it's difficult. You know, there's, there's some moments when uh, it's not as easy to love them. I think that if that was your answer, your relationship would be in jeopardy. Obedience is something that we constantly want to strive for. And the Bible says that it's going to happen through our love. Love should make us want to obey God. You know, sometimes we try to turn everything into a rule, right? And religion's really good at turning everything into a rule. And sometimes that strict obedience turns into legalism. You know, we're just following the rules. God, I'm checking off all the boxes. I'm doing exactly what you want. Well, that's not what God wants either. God doesn't want us to be legalistic about things. God wants us to love him. He wants us to love him and he wants our obedience to flow from that love. And I would just offer, if worship feels empty, if church feels more like a routine, if you feel like you've lost some of that passion or that desire, I would just say, you know what? Return to your first love. Do what you can, pray, and ask God to help you return to your first love. We all want to be obedient and we want to love God even more. And I know that, that that's part of your prayer. It's something that God will answer for you. Let's pray. Dear Lord, we just thank you as we look out towards this week and we're just so grateful and so blessed by this Easter weekend. We thank you for the cross and for the empty tomb and for everything that means for us. We just pray for each one of our church members who are with us and who are far away. We pray for those who are sick, for those who are homebound, for those who are in the hospital. Lord, we just pray that you would send your healing touch, lay your hand on them and restore them back to health. And be with those who are comforting uh, those who are sick. Be with our loved ones, our church family, our church members, and everyone across the world, Lord. We know you got this and we trust you. Help us to love you each day a little more. Amen.